Right. This is just a little guideline on how to use your CPU tuner along with Tegrack. So first of all I'm just going to show you. Triggers. So when it's on the battery at 15%, as you can see right there, it's going to be on power save. When the screen locks, it's going to be power save. And when it's plugged in, it'll be a performance. And when the when it gets overheated pretty much, it'll go to normal, which is, I have it set to 800 megahertz. And when I'm in a call, have it be for performance. So, and different profiles for those would be performance right now is at governor's full speed, max frequencies, uh, 1000 megahertz, and the minimums of 100 megahertz. Normal, I have it set to the same thing except uh, the max is 800 megahertz and the minimum is 100. What I forgot to show you, I'll show you this one now. Um, the data connections, background syncs, Wi Fi, and all that, you can turn them off, on, or pulse for the Wi Fi and background sync, which is what I have for when uh, the screen's off. That way it saves power. And when the battery gets down to that 15%, this is what I have it set. Everything's turned off and it's at as low as frequency it can be. And the governors, you change those right here. Threshold's up 50, and I have it pretty much the power bias on performance for full speed. And normal's almost the middle, and the threshold's up to 60. And when the battery's up, save battery, just threshold's up to 90, down 50. and as you can see for the extreme right there and these show you the current speeds of the CPU every time you refresh it and that's about it for setting it up when you first install it it's going to ask you saying some settings whether you're mediocre advanced or you just want full power over it this is set so I can have full control over it so that way I can do this so I can show you right here have this work along with it, say yes, and I overclock it, confirm, okay, now go back to CPU tuner, it will show you that it is running at that speed right there, the 1300 megahertz, so 1.3 gigahertz, and it will show you right here, the max frequency is now 1300 megahertz and that's full speed which I really like about this so it's on auto right now so it knows from those profiles when to change but I can also do it manually so I'll say power save and you'll see the performance no, I'm not gonna do that because I'm recording change my mind but um, if you do it on your own you'll be able to see a huge difference and since I overclocked it when I flip screens while I'm recording it slows the CPU down but right now it's really smooth for what it usually is and that's it for also for the tech rack this is sort of a free version but if you don't have the free version you can change the frequency levels to even higher than that you can make it to yeah some speeds you probably don't need for this but I can't change anything right now because uh, just because <laughs> it's not a paid version so that's one thing I'm going to buy eventually but it's not that important to me it's fine for me right now and you can also have it start on boot for the speed but since that's not the paid version I'm not going to do it CPU tuner I have start on boot, so that way it adjusts to what I want. Just part in settings. Let's see. Probably just enable CPU tuner, but save the configuration in this minute. Like some are already here, right here. So, that are already made for you, but I just made my own. And 
about it for this? And it tells you the temperature of the CPU. Oh my bad. Right now it's at 20 degrees Celsius. And it also gets to the just so you see this, which I can do this anyways, but it's just faster for me to do that. It shows you what you're using for how long. Okay, well, thank you for watching and hope you subscribe and see some other videos.